When you were 10, did you know you wanted to go into location-based check-in reporting for consumers? When I was 10, I don't think, I think we had mobile phones, but uh, we didn't have GPS. We didn't have, well, we, not that we didn't have GPS, we didn't have GPS in our phones, we didn't have any of this location technology. Uh, when I was 10, I think I knew I wanted to become an engineer. My dad was an engineer, he was a uh, merchant marine, but he was kind of a jack of all trades. So he could do electrical, he, he kind of hacked together tools on his own, he built his own radio from scratch. Like, so I grew up in that environment, and I knew I wanted to be an engineer. I knew I wanted to do something with computers. Yeah. And? And uh, yeah, I think that the transformation is that I went to school to study engineering, not really knowing what I was going to do in the future. And did you graduate school? I did, yeah. I we went won't to, hold that against you. Well, I, thank you. I, went to, uh, <laughs> I got both my bachelor's and my master's. Um, my, my parents maybe kind of have this wholesome education. They really wanted that in my resume before I moved on to other things. Um, and I went to do that, and then, um, Again, I still didn't know what I wanted to do in the future, um, and I just happened to be working with some people. I, I was consulting with a startup that my friend was, my college roommate was actually working in, um, and we were trying to bring music to mobile phones. So this was before iTunes and Spotify and all the stuff that we know, um, way back in, I guess, 2002, 2003. Um, so I started working on that project, and uh, I went to work at Sony, and I built uh, tools to bring um, all sorts of music uh, dynamically to phones all around the world and all the major carriers. Um, and then I sort of got bored of that, and uh, I'd been doing a lot of travel. I'd, I'd grown up in a family that just loves to travel. Um, my dad spent 15 years um, sailing around the world. Uh, I wouldn't see him for like eight or nine months out of the year because he was always somewhere else. Um, so that kind of was ingrained in me as I grew up. Um, so I quit Sony wanting to go do and build something that helps us you know, learn more about where we live and learn more about uh, locations to go to, places that our friends go to, um, and learn more about the world in which we kind of interact every day. Um, and I guess those are some of the things that I, you know, like, uh, that moved me to, to start something like. So Force you came Club. up with the idea that yeah. I guess began as dodgeball and then became. Force well, Club. I was actually not a part of the dodgeball program. So when I when I quit Sony, I actually met my co-founder Dennis, my buddy, um, and he would actually started dodgeball and went to Google and then uh, decided to I guess uh, leave and start over again. And we met around that time and we brought some of these ideas together. Me more from the travel side of things and the, the idea of to-do lists and recommendations um, and. Uh, and you know, just built it on that, uh -huh. on that foundation. And how much naysaying did you encounter from family, from friends, otherwise, as you started something pretty much from scratch? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Um, I think um, there's, this, there's this kind of meme or saying in the US, like, the haters are going to hate. And that's always true. Um, because people are always going to be naysaying. People are, I, I, for, for various reasons, maybe they're, not a, maybe they're too afraid to take the risks on their own. Um, maybe they think they can see the future. I don't know what it is. Um, but when you're really passionate about something, you just have to keep going and you just have to go do it. You're not going to get it right the first time. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. Um, um, you're going to have to you know, find people to tap into. It's people that have done this before or people that you know, can kind of sympathize or point you in the right direction. People yeah. that you can talk to about certain ideas, whether they be technical or business or you yeah. know, social issues. Um, and you just have to you know, try it out. You never really know. I think one of the reasons like. My, I quit my job, and I was very comfortable in that job. You know, I was only 24 at the time, and I, you know, uh, I realized that now is kind of the time to take risks. You know, I'm much, I'm much younger than I, I'm ever going to be, obviously. Um, and now is the time to do interesting things and try it out. Um, and that's what propelled what me. What made do you it. head east away from Silicon Valley to do it? I was actually never in Silicon Valley. So oh. I, after school, when I started working at Sony, I, I moved to New York City, and uh, I've been, I've been there ever since. So there was no question as to. Should we start in Silicon Valley? Should we start it, you know, somewhere else? Should we start it in New York? We love New York City. There's, the city has everything to offer for us, you know, whether it be our friends or cultural things or social things or uh, great food, all of this stuff, as well as a great base for good engineers and all this that gotcha. we need to build a company. Yeah. Gotcha.